What's happening peeps and peepins, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video we are going to take a closer look at lots of uh, details that have come out on the Tribble testing server and that is going to include the new Jem'Hadar, the exterior of DS9 has gotten like a revamp so we're going to take a closer look on the outside of DS9. Also, a couple of new additions, but firstly, I do want to just show you guys this. There is going to be a new loading screen for our character, so here we go. So this is going to be it. The background you guys can see, it's going to be like the wormhole opening. And I don't know with these 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 particles that are coming out of DS9, or DS9, out of the wormhole. I don't know if that's uh, true to the, to, the, uh, to the TV show. But it's kind of a nice addition, right? It's a kind of a nice addition. Like it draws your attention to that. And another thing that I'm going to show you guys that I just mentioned, uh, we got uh, the option to create a gem header. Now, obviously, if you want to create a gem header, you basically um, are going to be able to do so. Plus the Vanguard pack that you need to buy to make, like you know, the Uber. Uh, bad, <laughs> bad as uh, gem Hadar is definitely going to be available to you, and we have like three new, um, or at least not new. Uh, we have three classes right here: engineering, science, or tactical. And it says right here level sixty. So all of these guys that you're going to make or create are going to be sixty. And do keep in mind that these are, um, it's kind of like depicted in male. But there are like genderless. So whatever you're going to make, it's going to be uh, based on, you know, no gender at all. So uh, firstly, I'm going to do all three uh, of these uh, professions. But I'm going to start with the engineering. And you can definitely change the appearance of these guys uh, to your content. Um, I'm just going to go really quickly uh, through like, you know, the presets that have been made already. And I do love the... Uh, ridges right here kind of like a uh a mohawk <laughs> goes all the way to the uh from the front to the back oh this guy looks scary um so what kind of options do we have so we got gemini one two and three you can basically see the um the face option actually change when i go to one two and three right here um you also have the difference to uh skin type so you know more and less details on his uh on his head um, we cannot change the eyes, um, maybe in a later stage, I don't know about that, right now we cannot do anything about that, it's like grayed out. Um, so this is all, this is a cool option, like the head attached uh, organic, uh, so like, you know, the, the, the upper part that I definitely enjoy. Uh, so cranium, spike, 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 cranium, uh, crest, crest, and then spikes. I definitely enjoy this part right here. And also the uh, the cranium ridges, those are, those are just awesome in my book. But it's going to be it's gonna be fun to make a gem head art, to be honest. Uh, also a different style of hair on, his, uh, on the aft of his head. looks cool and also a mouth accessory and that's basically that uh, catch yourself white injection uh tube what they're talking oh no sorry 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 that's the the jaw right here that the the complexity with these these spikes coming out of that so we got you know different uh different options It's really cool that they uh, made so many of these, you know, uh, options for us to uh, customize our character with. And uh, we can definitely change the, the catch yourself white tube uh, in in uh, the body. Is it the body or is it the uniform? I think it's the uniform then. Um, mm -hmm. Let me just do a quick look. Color right here. Yeah, that's the color. All right, so uh, the upper part definitely um, it's going to be tied up to your own account. So if you have lots of options right here that you can uh, unlock for your account, uh, more to come. Obviously, this is not everything, I guess. So this is just you know the bare uh, minimum, just to give us a little bit of uh, notice, like they are working on it, and you know 
you can definitely unlock more and more items now some of them are unlocked uh, the other ones, they're probably going to release um, with the uh, with the Vanguard pack. If you guys are going to purchase that, you're going to probably have more options. But I'm just speculating. I mean, it's you know, it's it's there, and I'm actually going to do uh, on one side. I'm actually going to have it um, uh, like you know these options right here to get, basically get a feeling like what kind of options we're going to get um and on the um on the on the left i'm going to make like the options and on the right i'm just going to just you know keep it bare minimum as it is so you guys can uh, can see this is really awesome there is a a backpack for this guy look at that that's awesome that is cool um so the right one we are going to attach stuff oh sorry left one we're going to attach the right one we are going to keep it a bare minimum and i think i've seen this one before somewhere is it i don't remember where is it like the yeah you guys probably can uh, let me know on the comment section where have i seen these or these these plates before hmm i don't know all right so coming back to the color that i uh, mentioned these uh tubes that goes into uh these guys uh neck the catcher cell white uh injection so we got the option to have one of these guys we have another option to uh go into his neck but like uh underneath is like uh uh his his shoulder kind of was the, there is a bone what's this uh, collarbone or something like that it's called and this is something I really love. There is an option to have two of these tubes going to his neck. So this guy is like highly addicted. <laughs> also. And you can definitely change like, you know, the uh, tubes and their color. And I'm just clicking on, you know, just to uh, give you guys a little bit of uh, detail. So you can do like these uh the the injection ports when it basically goes inside his neck and also the tubes on itself uh, let's go white or something bluish something like that that is cool um also on the uh underneath part the uh, lower body uh so we got tight we got loose and we got uh tucked high um there's also a Feet option to actually change your boots. Very nice. Uh, there's also a belt option. Um, I don't know if they're going to allow us to have the, the Klingon sash. <laughs> that was going to be awesome. Um, so there is the uh, upper left part right here. And there is a... Is there a lower one? No, that's just the hips. There is like a uh, his uh, where he basically keeps his wallet. <laughs> so that's that's how it looks like, you know, from the from the left with like the body armor types, and without the body armor types. That's how the character looks like, or at least the character creation. And this is just you know basic, not putting a lot of work into uh, into that. Uh, background. Uh, this is definitely something awesome because uh, awesome, they actually spend a lot of time making these names. Uh, <laughs> so it's really cool to, to see uh, Riemann Clan. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these guys because it's like really, really good um, made up names. Look at that. How am I going to pronounce that? <laughs> so really awesome. Um, also with the ship names. I don't know what the DV means. I mean, it's, um, yeah, maybe you guys can let me know. Dominion Vessel, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this, batch <laughs> number JJ. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Because these guys are, you know, with uh, are, uh, are made, obviously, and there is a batch. <laughs> JN Trump. Uh, JH devoted is a devoted one. Victory really is really awesome because they have like you know some kind of like a uh, serial number right there because you know because these guys are made so you know you basically need like a serial number to uh, 
have like it as designation because they can't be named like you know i don't know uh dave or something like that you know because there are like so many of them so it's really cool uh now what i'm going to do i think there is going to be some kind of like cinematic um trailer or something like that coming up if i press the engage button so um yeah if you don't want to see that i'm going to put a timestamp for you guys in here on the somewhere where you guys can click to not see that that trailer or something uh so if you guys don't want to see that go to you know a different timestamp if you guys want to see that and there's like heavy spoilers ahead coming up you guys uh, might be amazed so here we go in three two one All right, so that was the cinematic trailer, the introduction, I guess. Whoa, this guy is standing really, really close to that other guy. And it was really cool. Now, obviously, there is a little bit of, like, voice over acting that they need to fix. It is on Tribble. Uh, be sure to understand that. that it's not really finalized yet, so keep that in mind. And we are at level 60 already. Everything has been unlocked, or at least not everything. Uh, I do need to clarify this. Um, so a couple of stuff have been unlocked. Uh, let's say the reputation we got. Uh, because I made... What did I make? I made an engineer. So we got Task Force Omega unlocked. And also Nukara Strike Force unlocked. All of the other reputations are not unlocked at all. Uh, let's say, do we get any money out of this guy? No money, no dilithium, no marks, no nothing at all. All right. Uh, do we have anything like duty officers? No, we don't have any duty officers, no roster, no duty officers, assignment missions on this map because basically we don't have any duty officers. And uh, because everything is unlocked, we should have traits as well for the Nukara. We have space... And also the Omega for ground and space are unlocked, both of them. And also uh, ground trades, basically just the default. Uh, let me just skim through this, see if there is anything new. Um, no, basically everything is the same. Rifle training, pistol training, uh, physical strength, peak health, natural immunity, lucky field technician. These are basically, you know, traits that you can grab yourself if you don't have them from the exchange. Anything worthwhile in space, a thrill seeker. That's kind of interesting. Uh, shield technique, refrigeration analysis. Operative is unlocked. Uh, um, what is this? Inelastic collisions. Space trace, your outgoing shield heals provide a brief massive spikes in shield resistance to the healed ally or self. Okay, that's cool. Uh, imposing presence, that's weird. Uh, plus 7.5 outgoing whole healing and also a threat regeneration. So that's really cool for tanking. Uh, fleet coordinator, efficient captain, bulkhead technician. Maximum hull hit points, beam barrage, accuracy. Oh, 
I need to click on that. That's basically the uh, particle defense, operative, molecular defense. What is this? Space trade increases resistance to phaser disruptor and plasma-based attacks. Okay, nice. So we do have a couple of uh, new details. Um, were designed pure, the Gemadar soldiers were designed purely for combat and highly capable combat in a multitude of environments. Their intense combat training have made them incredibly efficient at defeating their opponents through superior offensive capabilities. Uh, ground bonus damage for ranged weapons and melee attack, critical chance and critical severity. That's kind of interesting. Let me see what kind of like critical... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me just see the skills. Oh, okay. So skills are also pre-made on this guy. So we got hull restoration, two points, hull capacity, shield restoration, shield capacity, uh, improve weapons uh, for beams and for projectiles. What is this? Defensive maneuvering, uh, impulse, uh, EPS, uh, shield restoration, hardness, damage control, hull plating. Okay, damage resistance. That's nice. Uh, weapon amplification, specialization, a shield pen, hull pen. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, coordinated pro uh, protocols are also have been unlocked. Long range targeting sensors. Uh, offensive on wow all, all across the board okay so defensive system and also off uh, offensive system and everything has gotten the plus 3.2 in every power uh, engineering readiness warp core potential two points did they unlock anything right here okay they did so they also unlocked battery expertise so increases the duration of most uh, battery and devices Effect by 100%. Let's see what they clicked on here. Maximum hull capacity. Um, shield subsystem power. So definitely tank-like. As it should be for an engineer. Um, weapon subsystem power. Okay. A little bit GPS-wise going there. Uh, I need to click this one. Sector space travel, meh, I can go without that. Uh, threat control, okay. Okay, that's nice. Uh, projectile critical, uh, projectile chance, so critical chance by 1%, and energy critical chance by 1%. That's awesome. Uh, let's see for ground, what did they do? Weapon proficiency, criticals, a shield expert, and personal shield resistance. So definitely tank-like and DPS a little bit. Endurance training, armor expert, master, regeneration, and improved endurance training. Uh, okay, okay. Kit performance, okay. Definitely tank-like. Uh, what do we got here? So not everything has been unlocked in specialization. Just the first two tiers of the command. Intelligence, uh, nothing at all. Uh, miracle worker has been fully unlocked. Pilot, not unlocked. Temporal, not unlocked. Commando, not unlocked. Constable, the new specialization is not unlocked. And also uh, the new strategies, or not new strategies, has not been unlocked. Let's see our bridge officers. What are these guys? So we got a purple Dominion tactical bridge officers and their trait are all ground based. So critical, critical um, what is this? Critical chance, right? Yeah, critical chance and critical severity. That's, that's nice. Yeah, only it's just for ground. Uh, Shroud has natural cloaking plus 20 old damage for next. Uh, allows you to cloak and greatly increases the damage of uh, your first few attacks uh, coming out of cloak. Do I have a cloak? Oh, okay. We got some new noise. <laughs> awesome. Uh, back in the fight. Uh, burst turret fabrication. Wow, that's new. Combat triage, super team, cover shields, uh, fuse armor, catch or so white. Mental discipline, orbit, rifle butt, shroud. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Let me just make these guys give me more. Oh, it's right here. 
Okay, let's do the uh, shroud. Let's put shroud number two. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, that's cool. It gives you a little bit of like a, like a aura. Wow. So this is definitely not a normal cloak that we see. We can actually see that the character is like, you know, a little bit um, faded out, but you still can see his like, you know, all of his head complexity and stuff like that. That's cool. That is definitely cool. Um, all right, what was I? This guy, skills, uh, traits, sorry. Uh, superior Pikel, Superior Stubborn, uh, Stubborn Shroud. Okay, so these guys are just basically copy paste of each other. Nothing different between them. I wish they had a little bit of space traits as well. So, uh, what kind of officers we're gonna get? So, purple, pur uh, blue, purple, blue, green, green, green. All right. So, three green, two purple, and two blue. Okay, nice. What is this? Oh, nice! So first of all, we are going to use the uh, bug ship, and this is the old version, the tier 5 U, with the new skins. Oh, that's awesome. And what's this? A Gemini fighter. I don't know if this, if we ever saw this thing in game, but this is basically a shuttle. This is a small ship. Oh, that's nice. It's like also fully decked with Mark 12. What is this? Purple? All right. Mark 12 purple gear. Nice. I like, I like. Also, what do we got here? This thing is also fully decked. Look at that. Quantum projectiles, polar run damage. What is this? Shield capacity, shield regen, survivability right here. Nice. Polar run damage. What kind of shields is this? Shield rage. Okay, so just a normal shield with... Can we actually... No. So this is just the basic normal stuff. Uh, okay, so Starship Mastery. Uh, no visuals. So I haven't unlocked anything. Um, what kind of skills do they give you? Tag Team Beta. Torpedo Spread. Scattered Volley Beam. All right, all right. Engineering. But nothing on science. Science is... Why is science on not unlocked? Maybe that's a bug. Need to be this guy. Polarized hull, tachyon beam. All right, all right. Um, okay, so DPS, survivability, DPS, survivability, survivability, and a little bit of, like, debuff. Nice. All right. Um, I actually want to see what this thing is. What is that? What did it do? Triage subroutine. What is the turret placement? Uh, this thing. A burst turret fabrication. Of five of them. Uh, four, sorry. Mark four. Polaron burst turret. Okay, nice. Now, I'm not going to play this mission because... Um, and this is something that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to spoil everything... Because uh, they're going to be like new, yeah, like these. Uh, there are like, let's see, there's one, two, three new missions. And I'm not, that's just, you know, me. I'm not going to spoil it for myself. I'm basically going to wait to play these missions when they come out and then going to do a review about them. But for now, I'm just going to uh, make another one. Uh, change character, yes. I'm going to make a, a new Geminar. I made a engineering now i'm gonna make a, a science background random random in now just like before if you guys don't want to see the cutscene timestamps um so here we go in three two one
All right. So uh, one thing that actually grabbed my attention is look at the guns that these guys are using. These are new guns. I don't think we have these in game currently. All right. That's awesome. All right. Let's do the same thing with this guy. Um, oh, I didn't show the kit modules and stuff like that. Oh, well, um, so I'm guessing the same ship, same layout. Um, skills in... Alright, so they did change in um, their skill tree. So, what do they change? So, drain and control has been added. Uh, region. Oh, this has been added. Uh, long range sensor, particle, uh, EPS. And uh, the uh, readiness right here. The scientific readiness. Nice. Uh, what do they select here? Uh, perception. Uh, Starship Stealth. Space Travel. That's just weird. Battery Expertise. Subsystem Repair. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Threat Control. Uh, critical Chance. And Critical Chance again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ground... Uh, ground they did more on kit performance and less on DPS or survivability. Sorry, uh, DPS is over here. Weapon pen proficiency crit uh, and also uh, survivability. That's nice. What kind of specialization did it give us? All right. So um, command is fully unlocked. Okay. And uh, intelligence is half unlocked. Okay, cool. For reputation, we got Nukara and Iconians. Okay. So everything has been unlocked for these guys, but we have no form of currency whatsoever. <laughs> nice. Uh, and I'm not going to go through the skills of these guys because they're basically just copy paste of the other ones as I'm seeing right here, but I am going to uh, see what this guy has. Sonic Pulse, Medical Tricorder, Hyperonic, uh, Exothermic, and Triage. Okay. Okay, I, I like that. Um, uh, they do have these new uh, designations right here. That's That's cool. That is really cool. All right, let's make a uh, tactical. Uh, I did show everything, right? There's nothing more to show on this guy. Just traits. Traits are basically the same with the unlocked for the uh, Nukara. And what was the other one? I forgot. Uh, Iconians. Yeah. Uh, stations, basically the same layout as we are. Oh, we get Wait a minute. This, 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 this changed. Even though this guy is selected. Hold on a second. Are these guys fully unlocked in their specialization? They are. All right. So their specialization with the bridge office that you're going to get are fully unlocked. Or at least you can, um... Basically, uh, like, select everything right here to specialize. Oh, these guys are not. Okay. I take that back. Not all of them have this unlocked. So, one, two, three, four of them have the specialization unlocked. So, you can basically switch them over. If you're going to have, like, you know, some kind of ship that has uh, that, has that ability, you can actually uh, choose your bridge officer, or at least these four... To your uh, to your liking. Okay, that's that's nice. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on my character. That may have to do with me, um, with my account. What is this? Catrasil White. Say st stated 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 stated. All right. Let me see what the Catrasil White does. Uh, health and damage boost. When Gemadar consumes Ketchup Cell White, it increases their maximum health and damage output for five minutes. 
Wow, that's a lot. Um, and enable them to use a shroud ability for three hours of game time. Okay, so you can basically log out and it's not going to affect that countdown. Well, that's nice. Chemerar uh, captains are unable to use their shroud without uh, sufficient catcher cell white in their system. Okay, that's nice to know. Catcher cell white is toxic to all other species. So consumed by non Jem'Hadar, minus 40% all damage for the next one minute, maximum hit points, reduced movement, uh, consumed by Jem'Hadar, plus 10 all damage for the next five minutes, plus 20 max hit points for the next five minutes, and plus 25% uh, percent increase in run speed, and empowers Shroud for three hours of game time. Wow, that's, that's cool. That is interesting. All right, let me make a, a tactical because that is what I was trying to do when I got distracted right here. Um, that guy. Wait a minute. Did I already make a tactical? What is this guy? That's engineering. That's science. Now I need a tactical. Just making sure. Come on, click on that. All right. Uh, appearance, I'm not going to do anything. Background, background. Just random, 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 random. Okay, that's good. Uh, <laughs> ferocity. <laughs> nice. All right. So again, guys, if you don't want to be spoiled, in three, two, one. All right, so here we go back. Um, what does this guy has as kit module? Rally cry, motion accelerator, photon grenade, suppressing fire, and overwatch. Uh, kit module, uh, kit performance, personal shield generator, and weapon damage. All right, all right, that's good. Uh, what does this has for a armor? Uh, so kinetic and energy damage resistance, health regen plus 110 times two shield regen. I basically think you can upgrade this thing and, you know, get some better armor. Uh, Gemini personal shield that these, uh, these shields you can get in game as well as the weapon, but not this one. Polaron pistol. What is, how does that look like? Ooh. All right, all right, that's cool, that's new. Ah, stupid window. I actually want to shoot at something. Nice, all right. So that is how it shoots. Nice. All right. Um, let's see the skill tree for ground. So we got endurance training. <laughs> okay. So everything is on kit performance and uh, DPS right here and a little bit of survivability. For space is uh, everything I best in tactical. Yep. Um, whole capacity... Uh, EPS right here, impulse expertise, just a little bit, whole plating damage control, shield region, shield hardness, everything in long range targeting to get like the uh, small amount of a penalty removed, uh, offensive and defensive, uh, more on the offensive, obviously. Um, 
warp core potential fully unlocked engineering readiness why there are two and also two in science beats me uh coordination protocol okay so that's awesome what does we have here engine we have maximum hull capacity uh battery again uh sector space travel i don't even know why that's there Threat control, projectile crit chance, uh, energy crit chance, and accuracy. All right. Um, reputation, what do we have unlocked? So we got task force and... What? Just task force Omega? Oh, here we go. Iconians again. Hold on, this is a tactical, right? Yeah, tactical. Why is it the same as a science? Iconians and Task Force Omega. That is... Okay. That's the way they went with these guys. Um, skills we just covered, uh, these things we just covered, um, what else, what else to show you guys, um, yeah, not a lot, because I really don't want to do this mission, this tutorial thing right here, uh, because it's like lots of stuff we need to do, and me personally, I'm going to wait to do the, um, this mission uh i'm just going to show you guys the, the the character creation and these guys these these uh options that we have for their um you know for making the gem hadar as a uh, character as a playable species you guys can see there is nothing in their inventory or r d or in their assets everything has been set to zero but you do have a fully made character for uh you know doing end game content right here level 60 for these guys and we got two reputation unlocked the iconians and task force omega on a uh, tactical um on a tactical character and i do want to fly this thing though hmm Damn it! <laughs> also this thing. And I cannot go in space because you basically are tied up to the tutorial right here. Um, no, that's it. That's it. I'm not going to show more. Uh, but I am going to show a couple of stuff that I... Um, no, not log out. Change characters. Yes. Um, I do want to show a couple of things that I uh, found interesting. So the, I'm in my uh, Zenkethi uh, carrier. And I do want to show you one thing. Uh, the shield visuals that I actually showed you the other time, they weren't available then. But it is available now. And uh, I need to be in space for this part and not at the uh, DS9 option, or it is the interior, I need to be at the exterior. And <laughs> something really funny is, <laughs> look at this thing. So these are the new shield visuals. Definitely themed as the Jem'Hadar. With the Jem'Hadar set. As you guys can see, not now, go away. We do have the uh, icons as well uh, being placed in. And that is from the, uh, yeah, from the Gamma reputation right here. The new reputation. So if you, you're for, if you unlock this entire thing, you can basically buy everything in the stores right here. Everything. And also unlock for ground in space set. And this is how it looks like, or at least... The visuals, the visuals, this is how it's going to be in like the majority of ships. And we got new ships right there. How do they get a new ship right there? That's that's cool. But this is how it looks like. And I'm definitely going to do a tour on DS9. And this might not be the best ship to do so. But let me just go to that ship. That ship looks really cool. And 
And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to switch. Uh, can't switch. Um, I want to switch to a small ship. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, I'm inside DS9 right here. Now, luckily, I have lots of small ships to give you guys a little bit more screen time. Oh, that's just the the upgraded. Ver Come on, can you like not go in there? Am I inside this night? Okay, I'm not. So this is, I think this is just the Gemadar Dreadnought carrier, the tier five, both with the upgraded skin. Looks really sick though, right? Oh, look at how many people there are there. <laughs> That's awesome. And this is the new, or at least with it. Oh, too much zooming in. This is like the the, the new um, uh, patterns that they put up here with the new bug ship. And underneath, I think that's the new ship. Yeah, that's that. that yeah, that's the new ship. That's not the Gemini Dreadnought carrier. I don't know how he get the, his hands on a new ship though. Hmm. All right, so let me give you guys a tour of uh, DS9, something they that they uh, added right here. You can actually see lots and lots of more details. And also these things, I think I think these were like the thrusters that they used in like the first episode when they actually needed to um, place DS9, the entire space station, uh, closer to, to the wormhole. They actually fired up these things in the TV show. So they basically put up, wait a minute, these are four and these are five. Okay. Oh, and lots of uh, details when it's like, oh, look at that. It's like a, br a blinking light right here. It pulsates. Nice. And also a really cool lighting effect right there. Nice. Oh, that's that's really cool. Ooh, wormhole. Okay. Also, okay. So those flies that are coming out, I said in the beginning of the video, I thought it was like particles. Okay. So that's basically how it is supposed to be. What kind of ship is this? What the heck is this? I don't think I've ever seen a ship like this. Kind of looks like a runabout. Okay. All right, that's that's new. Oh, look at the <laughs> engines, nice. Very very nice. I like this. Look. These, I think they're th they're called thrusters or something like that. I don't. It's been a really long time that I've actually watched uh, DS9, but I do remember these things when they pulled up like the, the the when they enveloped the entire station with like that shield bubble of warp bubble or whatever they called it. There, you can actually so see these things firing. Nice, you can actually see like a landing platform right here where they used to land like, you know, uh, shuttles. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? The new, is that a new one? The Galore? Or is that the old one? No, that's a new one. Or that's just the old... No, that is the new one. Look at that. Oh, that is sick. How do these guys get ships like these? On Tribble. 
Hmm, I wonder. That's the new ship that we're going to use, guys. From um, from the Cardassians. Nice. Let's see, what else we got here? We got Defiant. And it's just a runabout, I guess. Um... Yeah, this is definitely an eye catcher right here. I don't know if the devs actually made this thing and like park them here so we can see that or is that just, you know, playable character. Otto's flagship. All right. So these are just, okay. These are just, you know, stuff that, yeah, this is all right. So these guys, okay. That basically uh, solves that uh, issue or that problem. So we got Odo's flagship right here. I was wondering, like, how these, the, how did the, all of these guys actually obtain ships right here? Wow, that is cool. Hey, we got a playable ship, the bug ship. That one is like a really good ship. If you want to do PVP, that's, I think that's like, I don't know. And this is just, you know, from, for me hearing other people uh, do PVP, that's like probably the most badass ship that you can have in the, you know, in the PVP game. But who am I? I never do PVP. So never, never listen to me when it comes to PVP. What else? We got the Chimera Defiant Core. What is is this also a ship? Oh, these are just basically like you know the badass ships that you can have in the in the game. What is this? This is weird. Go away. Don't want to see my ship. I want to see this ship. Okay. So this is a hail wrong flagship. No, that's the Ferengi one. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to display anymore. And I, like I said. Um, I'm not going to do the uh, new missions that they made for the uh, the um, uh, Jem'Hadar uh, characters or playable characters and also not uh, these things, the new missions. I'm not going to play them on Triple. I'm definitely going to make a video on these on uh, when they're actually going to go live because once, uh, you know, I don't want to be spoiled spoiled before everything goes live and I want I definitely do not want to spoil you guys when you know um stuff is going to come uh online um I just want to have that you know don't want to spoil that that experience so that is basically it um nothing more to say uh, to say or to show you guys uh, this is definitely awesome whoa big <laughs> A big wormhole. Uh, we got new uh, Jem'Hadar. Um, yeah, please let me know what DV stands for. Uh, Dominion Vessel? I don't know. Dominion Victory, maybe? Nah. So you have like three options. And... Um, oh, wait a minute. Is the Admirality unlocked on these guys? Something I didn't didn't uh, have a chance to look at. It is unlocked, but you still need to level these guys up to their factions. Okay, so you can basically start earning um, money by doing you know uh, admirality missions if you have ships, and I think I have one ship. Or do you say, oh, I, I got two ships. So there it goes, right? 
one assignment in progress <laughs> nice all right all right that's it uh no more spoilers no more um uh nothing more to say i'll uh, hope to see you guys on the next video and i'm definitely going to keep you guys um up to date when it goes when, it, when stuff comes up on triple on when stuff go, are going to come up on the holodeck server so i uh, hope to see you on that video as well for now take care and later